Hello everyone and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all well. Today I have a variety of autumn outfit inspo for you. Some dressier looks, some slightly more casual looks, some workwear looks, and hopefully just a good all-rounder for the new season. So everything today is in sponsored partnership with Cezanne. Um, you know I love Cezanne, wear the pieces all the time. The quality is second to none. If any of you have ever bought from Cezanne, you'll know this. Um, but every single piece I have from them is just beautiful, very wearable pieces and also not too trend led. They as a brand have a really distinctive style and that's what I love about them, that they don't adhere to too much trends, they stick to their foundations um, and their unique style and that's what I love. And I always think you can spot a Cezanne piece um, just by the way that they're made and the style of them. So I've got some really great outfits, um, especially some evening outfits which I can't can't wait to share with you so let's get into the looks okay so look number one I had to start with this set um, which I am absolutely obsessed with so it's this matching cream um, viscose set and this is just me in an evening outfit I feel like um, if I were to just choose my ideal evening look it would be something like this very loose very easy to wear if you're going out in the evening there's nothing worse than feeling restricted and uncomfortable it feels so chic it's a little bit different but still classic and I just love both of the pieces both together and separately I think these trousers would also look so nice with a chunky knit or even then in the summer maybe with some tan sandals and a vest top and then this blouse is also really easy to wear but I just think together they work so nicely it's got that kind of pajama set feel but more elevated I just can't rave enough about this I just think it's such a nice set really hoping it's still in stock online I'll leave all the links below as well as my sizes I usually go for a size UK in Cezanne or a small unless it's maybe like a blazer sometimes I'll size up one next are these beautiful gray trousers again the quality of these is just second to none so easy to throw on with lots of different things as we all know gray is having a big moment right now um, all gray everything it's like gray and brown are the two neutrals that are having that spotlight this season so having a pair of gray trousers not only will you be a bit more on trend but also really wearable and just make a change from black in your wardrobe if you feel like you wear a lot of black maybe you have a lot of black trousers then actually a nice gray pair will go with so much and also just feel a little bit lighter than a black pair. I've just kind of kept it casual um, just to show a different way to wear it. I paired it with some trainers and you could actually, if you were in a more smart casual environment, I think you could do these trousers with trainers if you wanted to um, in a kind of similar way that I've done. And then I paired it with my Cezanne t-shirt. I wear these. These Cezanne t-shirts all the time. I swear I wear at least two every week. <laughs> they're kind of like on rotation in my wardrobe constantly because they're just the best basic t-shirt. They're lightweight, they wash really nicely as well. Um, they're not too baggy, they're not too thick, they're just perfect. So t-shirts, you know, just with a simple pair of smarter trousers, a really nice transitional look. And then I popped on this alpaca blend jumper over the shoulders. Um, this is a really nice gray knit for so many different reasons. I think the color of gray is a really good, nice shade of gray um, and that will go with a lot. Also, it just feels gorgeous. It's not itchy either, um, which is great for alpaca. It's an alpaca mix. So I think that's probably why. And it just is a really nice shape. I love this slightly drop shoulder. You can go wrong with knitwear. So I think Although we have these staple pieces in our wardrobe, there are ways to go wrong. So I think this is just a really good version. If you're looking for a great version of a simple gray knit, then this is the one. So you could actually then pop that on with the trousers if you wanted to. I think it's really nice layered with the white t-shirt. So you've got that pop of white underneath, but you could wear a shirt under it as well. A nice white crisp shirt underneath would look so good with this knit. So my next look is what I would call a desk to dinner look. It's a really easy one to take you from day to night just by switching out a few things. So I started off as my base layer, the shirt, and I think this just shows that all of these pieces are quite interchangeable as well. Um, you'll see I've styled a couple of pieces as mix and match. Um, and then I've put this beautiful sleeveless blazer on with it. I have always loved a black sleeveless 
blazer. I had one years and years and years ago when I used to work in an office um, and I used to wear it all the time. It was such a reliable piece for me. You know when you don't wanna wear a blazer, it feels maybe a bit heavy to wear a blazer inside all day long. So actually, to have this sleeveless option still keeps you warm, you get to see your sleeves. It's also not got any embellishment on it, which I just think is a real winner. It's not even got buttons on, which I think is actually really nice because then you can just see whatever's underneath and it doesn't compete with it. It just keeps it very sleek and streamlined. So I think that's definitely something to look out for. And I love these pockets, really nice. It's just, again, a really great version of this style. So just got these simple black trousers with it, going for an all black look. Um, and then just kind of the shirt gives it that little pop. So you could wear this in the daytime more with flat shoes or a low heel, some simple jewelry. And then if you want to jazz it up for night, go for a bigger heel, go for some gold statement earrings, add a clutch bag in if you want to. And it really transforms it from that slightly more office feel to something a little bit more glamorous. Let's take a moment for the jewelry that I'm wearing as well. Um, these amazing gold chunky, they're like a, a flat disc I suppose. And they're just so easy because they've not got much to them in that they're just kind of gold and plain, but they're still quite bold. Um, it just kind of, they go with everything, but always will pack a punch. And then the same can be said for this bracelet as well. And both again, feel really nice quality, but this bracelet, I might keep this on actually. Um, this bracelet, because it's gold and plain, it will go with a lot, but it also has that bold feel to it. So very easy to style and wear and make a statement within your outfit. And then what I've done is swap the top, kept the trousers on and styled it with this bodysuit, which I think is really nice. Cezanne actually do a really good collection of great bodysuits, different shapes, some more simple, some a little bit more embellished. The same with blouses. I feel like they're a bit of a go-to for if you're looking for really nice white blouses and Cezanne are like a go-to for that. But um, this bodysuit, really easy to wear. This is like an evergreen piece in your wardrobe you can wear it any time of year. Um, you could wear it in the summer with some white shorts in the evening, that would look really cool. You could wear it in the winter. This is a kind of a bit more wintry the way I've styled it with the black wide leg trousers. You could pop a blazer over the shoulders as well if you wanted to. Lots of different ways you can wear this and I just think it's a really good piece to have in your wardrobe. It elevates a look but then you could actually just dress this down with jeans. If you're looking for that jeans and a nice top kind of outfit, this is a really versatile one that you'll be able to wear time and time again for the evening. And I guess that's case in point with my next piece, um, which is this beautiful like bronzy gold uh, pleated skirt. And I've kept the bodysuit on with it. I think the black with the gold just feels really nice and autumnal. It's perfect for this time of year if you want a bit of a dressier look for going out in the evening. This is a really nice piece. But again, actually, I could see this just with a chunky cream knit jumper and some boots to just dress it down a bit more and add that kind of casual spin to it um, so it's definitely one of those it's a bit like the jewelry in a sense it's it's gold so it's got that bold feel to it but because it's quite plain it will actually go with a lot of different things and be able to be styled in a lot of different ways but still add that statement um, that you might be lacking in your wardrobe so I've actually had a couple of variations of the denim shirt from Cezanne now and again Really, really nice quality denim. I went up a size in this, so this is the 38, so it's a UK 10, um, and it's a really nice shade of dark denim. As we come into the cooler months, I think dark denim is such a nice option with browns. I'm styling them with some brown suede boots here, um, but I also have some lighter uh, versions of Cezanne's denim shirts that I wear so much. Um, and then I just decided to pair it. Bit of double denim. I love the dark double denim with these jeans. And these are definitely like a kind of smarter variation of the jeans. So it gives that kind of a little bit more polished look to the outfit. So this denim look would be a really nice one. Smart casual lunch, daytime occasion, or like a casual evening occasion. You've got the slight heel boots on with the double denim, just feels a little bit dressier, and then you can style it up with whatever jewelry you want, really. 
And then I think this kind of gives a real nod to the 70s, this overall look. I popped this blazer on over the shoulders of the double denim, this kind of um, herringbone-y style with the red running through it. It's got like reds, browns, beiges, and I think that's like a dark turquoise running through it. Um, but this is just such a good statement blazer that's again, not a real statement because it's versatile at the same time. So it's one of those things that's noticeable, but wearable. And I think it looks so great with the denim. This would also look really good with leather, faux leather trousers, leather trousers, a leather skirt uh, for workwear. You could dress it up in the evening if you wanted to. I think with a really great earring, some leather trousers and like a kind of pointed toe sling back or something like that could be a really nice dressed up look. You could go for a ruffle blouse under this again having that slightly more 70s feel but lots of different ways you can style this it comes with a matching skirt as well actually if you wanted to kind of go down that route of an all kind of suited look but I just think as a separate it's really nice and again I went up a size in this too but I just think if you're looking for this kind of classic herringbone autumnal blazer that's a slight twist slightly different with the red running through it then this is the one also red is a really big trend for autumn winter. It's not my preference in, in color palette, but if you want to give a nod to that red, it's got it through the blazer. And I think you could like put a red jumper over your shoulders or something like that as well, which I think would be really cool with this. So I have finally found a piece that has got me back into wearing color again. And it is this amazing pair of trousers. This shade of pink, is just exquisite. Like it's absolutely beautiful. And you know I'm not a huge wearer of color. If I do do color, it's usually a block color like this. And I think this like all tonal head to toe look is just amazing. It's basically the same trousers as these cream ones, but it's in the pink shade. What shade of pink is this? I'm trying to think of exactly what shade it is. I'd love to know what shade you think this is. I decided to go for this all toner look and go for this kind of, it's it's very similar pink um, jumper, but you don't have to. I actually tried it on with my white t-shirt uh, first and that was a really good look too, but I just wanted to show this all tonal pink look because I thought it was absolutely amazing. I actually think it would work with gold jewelry. I've gone for some silver jewelry to style it here and some silver accessories, but with gold, with whites, also with different colors, I think it's nice to avoid black and go for something lighter, some neutrals maybe, you could add a pop of red with your pink too if you wanted to kind of be a bit bolder But yeah loads of different ways to style the trousers You could go for a cream blazer a white shirt with it and then lots of different ways to wear this jumper as well You know with denim I think would look really nice with off-white denim and then bringing in some browns maybe for the new season So I really enjoyed talking through those looks and I really enjoyed those outfits I thought they were all kind of very wearable but quite unique with a little bit of a twist of their own and I think that just sums up Cezanne so well. Um, as I mentioned, I'll leave the links below, um, but thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know your favorite outfit. I think this is gonna have to be mine, but I think the pink is also a close contender because I think this style of trouser is just so good. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you very shortly in my next video. Bye.